hello everyone this is light bulb and today we'll be taking a look at uh, four ways to power your nord mcu for any iot project or you know the wi-fi jammer i showed you in an earlier vi video okay so uh, there's four ways but i don't have one of them which is a power bank you can power them up with these 8 and 650 uh, batteries which i'll go into detail i'll go into every single one in detail and i'll hopefully make this as a small video an otg cable of course you need the not mcu to see if, if it gets powered up and a mobile phone charger and if you have a power bank you can also use that but i don't have one at the moment so i can't so yeah let's get started so yeah about the 18650 battery this is a normal 18650 battery which is paired to uh, a protection a battery protection circuit a bms you know like those a bat uh, you know battery management systems and this is connected to a tp4056 uh, charging circuit with a protection board built in like it has built in protection for the battery short circuit over current over discharge and all and to power uh, to interface with the nord mcu uh, i have connected a gst xh connector but you can use uh, male to female jumper actually female to female jumper wire or whatever you just need to solder them to the plus terminal and the minus terminal so yeah, about the circuit you will be needing a you Mm, a micro USB cable and you need to connect the battery minus to the battery minus pad and battery plus to the battery plus pad and then there's out minus and out plus which you're going to be connecting to the Nord MCU by interfacing using a connector yeah so as you can see and of course again you need the Nord MCU now there's another way to power up your Nord MCU using the OTG cable. I don't find this really efficient because it if you're powering it up from your your own phone which you're gonna connect to the Nord MCU. The problem is that uh, when you using the OTG cable, it's gonna drain your battery much quicker and also that I don't think many phones support it. Nowadays all of them do, but not, uh, if you have if like someone is use trying to use their old phone. Uh, as a power bank and trying to interface and the second last is using a normal usb charger if you have a charger outlet somewhere near then you can just use a nice charger a 5 volt one in my case and one amp only that's the ma uh, that's what you just need to power this little thing up also you can power it up with the pa uh, with a power bank which is the last thing but I'm not having a power bank right now, but you can use it if you do have it because it's a really good way. So yeah, this is actually a small video which I hopefully thought it should be. And uh, again, please like, share and subscribe and also comment anything. Like, you know, I wouldn't mind if it was something like an improvement or something you didn't like about it. And see you in the next one.